What's up guys? Wanted to give a, an update on a couple projects I've been working on. Um, if you caught my two cell speedrun videos with the Limitless, you've probably seen this nose here. And The general concept is to uh, deflect the air around the, the tire and I also rounded this, this leading edge of the nose. Um, practicing some vacuum forming. See if I can make noses. So this one here is, is kind of like stock, except I rounded that center part of the nose again. And um, plaster, unfortunately, is uh, a little brittle, so I broke the the mold on that one. Um, this is sort of a redesign of, of that one. Um, just working on it, getting it all right. And somebody asked me how I. How I get things symmetrical, I got this tool, it's basically a, a bunch of pins, it's real small pins in there, and um, you know, I can essentially take the shape, flip it over the other way, and then on the same position on the other side, make sure that that shape matches up, and you know, go this way, and make sure the gaps are the same, and just all over the place to check it, make sure it's accurate. Um, but I find that as I'm working on these, you know, I'm taking a sanding block and I'm like, well, I want to make it a, a sharper leading edge or I want to have the contour change a little bit. And I'm, it's always evolving, always changing. This thing has changed shapes a few times and it, it's, like I said, it's always evolving until I get it to where I really like the look and the feel and the shape of it and so um, working with materials like this where you can sand it and change it is kind of ideal uh, so anyway that's that's what's going on with those limitless noses and we'll see where where that ends up um, long time overdue but finally getting started again on this um, streamliner teardrop for the uh, Fortec 2.0 you can see here I'm doing some Bondo with uh, Dolphin Glaze. It's really good body filler. Um, so this, you know, needs to harden up and get sanded down and then reprimed and everything. But uh, coming along with that one, I'm excited about it. And after studying aerodynamics and testing out bodies, I think this blunt, more... Uh, yeah, I guess blunt is the best word I can think of right now, but you don't want a real sharp, pointed front end. Um, <clears throat> which is kind of what I had here on this one for the Limitless, the 7 scale and 8 scale. Um, so the idea, I'm going to probably chop the front off and, and round it out a little bit and then maybe take some height out of the center like I did on that, on that other one. Um, so this one... Few people own them now, uh, as far as the carbon fiber bodies I made, and anxious to see what somebody can do with them. We should be seeing more on that pretty soon, but um, I think this one here has really got a lot of potential on the Fortec as a, a great car. If you haven't seen it before, all my kids stuff over here on the shelves. Um, the stretched Fortec 2.0, it's kind of disassembled right now, but um, that's kind of the car that I'm planning to go real fast with, and it's it's got plenty of room to run 8S if I, if I wanted to one day. We'll see what, what happens, but I think a body like this, even uh, 4S or 6S, should go pretty fast. All right, that is it for now. I'm working on all kinds of stuff and it's keeping me busy so you guys have a, a great holiday coming up and uh, stay safe out there thanks